Uh, I'm Hunter Yu, and I'm the composer of this next piece. Um, like uh, Dr. Davis said, I, I graduated in 2007. I have a, a dual degree, I guess they call it, in mechanical engineering and music, uh, which is actually very cool and, and something that we don't really see a lot of in, uh, in the composition world and in the music world in general. And it's just such an interesting thing to be here, you know, back at CASE at this, uh, you know, program that did so much for me and, and gave me so many tools and, and uh, such a, a great and unique skill set to be able to do some of the things that I did. Uh, and have done since then and, and will hopefully continue to do. Uh, the inspiration for this piece actually comes from my master's thesis, uh, which I, I performed last year at uh, University of Colorado Boulder. That's where I'm getting my, my master's now after having graduated. Uh, the piece was called Giant's Eye, and it was basically uh, kind of a, a madhouse of stuff happening. There were dancers on stage, there were poets, there was live video projection, uh, there was you know audio synthesis, video synthesis, uh, self-playing piano, uh, we, we even built from scratch this full body suit that when you bent it, it would send different signals back to a computer that would control, you know, some element of sound. And, uh, you know, I, I thought it was really successful and I was really pleased with how it came out and, and pleased that I could use, you know, the, the skills as a mechanical engineer and as a, a musician that, that I got here to be able to to accomplish this kind of thing. And, and the, the local review in the paper the next day said, you know, Hunter Ewan's Giant's Eye is two parts music and one part magic. Uh, which was actually really kind of interesting and it's something I hadn't thought about before using uh, magic, uh, you know, as an, as an element in music. And it, it sparked this whole generation of, of pieces, compositions that I've been working on that, uh, you know, try to, to bridge this gap, uh, you know, between us and technology and between performers, composers, and the audience. And I think it's a really interesting problem that we're dealing with. And, you know, a lot of the downtown composers are, are trying to find ways to, to, you know, integrate the audience and the, the composer and the performers and to make you know this experience more interactive and more fun and more intimate and I think that while this piece isn't necessarily a downtown piece of music uh, it certainly has those kind of uh, similar sensibilities um, the the piece uh, Harry Potter returns to Hogwarts you know obviously I couldn't ask for a, a better you know venue to, to perform this piece in uh, dr. Duffin actually emailed me the same day that that review came out and so it was really interesting to, to uh, to hear from him again after after so long and being away and you know, he said we had this great opportunity Do you want to come back and perform a piece and I said wow, you know, it's gonna be in a massive stone uh, You know, I might as well kind of go out all out and, and do the Harry Potter thing And so I came up with this this piece that is uh, uh, electronic media and myself and um, You'll kind of see what my my instrument here is in a second But uh, what I did after that I, I went out and basically bought you know a Harry Potter book for dummies um, this is, the, you know, what he does, this is what he looks like, these are the spells that he uses. And so I kind of went through it and I memorized all those spells and incantations and, uh, you know, tried to, to figure out the best way to present it to you guys. So this is kind of what I, what I came up with.